In this video, I'm going to introduce for you the NOR, the NAND, and the XNOR gates. Um, what these are, are basically if we want to negate the functionality of an OR, an AND, or an XOR, we can put an inverter at the end. So um, let me start with the NOR. If we have just a regular OR, Here's an OR gate. And then um, after we get the output of the OR gate, if we invert the output, then we effectively have a NOR. Now, um, as a little shorthand for this inverter, you see the bubble on the end of that inverter? So we take that bubble and we just basically shrink the inverter down to the bubble. And our schematic symbol for the NOR gate looks like an OR with a bubble on the end. Okay, so this is the schematic symbol for um, a NOR gate. It can take two or more inputs, and um, the truth table for the NOR is a good way to explain the functionality. Um, if we have inputs A and B, if we were to OR these together, A or B, and then if we took that OR and we inverted it, a or B not, then this is going to give us the output of a NOR gate. Okay, so let's go through these cases 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So A or B, 0 or 0 would be 0. Remember the truth table for ORing, this is 1, 1, 1. Now I basically take this OR column, right, that would be the output of this OR and then I invert it. So I flip all these bits. If this is a zero, this becomes a one, and these are zeros. And so one zero 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 becomes the truth table for a NOR gate. And this is um, how we would write it in function notation. So not only can we put an inverter on the end of an OR gate, we can also put one on the end of an AND gate. So that gives us the NAND. So if we have an AND gate, we take the, our output of the AND and we invert it, then this thing becomes a NAND gate. So it looks just like an AND but with a little bubble on the end. And the truth table for inputs A and B, our output is going to be A and B not. Now um, it's handy to remember that the truth table for A and B is, here we can write it over here, the AND truth table for 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 was 0, 0, 0, 1, right? So it's only 1 if both of the inputs are 1. So if we take this AND truth table and we basically invert all of the bits of the output, that's going to give us A and B not. Um, in other words, NAND. So 0, 0 will give us a 0. 0, 1 is a 0. 1, 0 is a 0. And 1, 1 is a 1 for the AND. But then if we invert all these gates, all of these outputs, we get 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay? So this is the, for our truth table, technically all we need is are these, right? So this is um, our inputs, and this is our output with the not on the out here. So this is a truth table for a NAND. But if you like, I always like to have kind of an intermediary column for me because this is really two steps. It's ANDing something, and then it's inverting it. So if you want to have a column for your AND, that's totally fine. And in fact, when we go to do more complicated circuits in the next video, it's going to be really handy actually to break um, each stage into intermediary steps as columns on your truth table. Okay, so we'll talk more about that later. Um, the next basic gate that we can put an inverter on the end of is an XOR. So recall the XOR stood for exclusive OR. The gate looks like this. If we take our output and we invert our output, then we have what's called an XOR, XNOR gate. So the XNOR gate looks like this, and the truth table 
if we had A and B, I'm going to put a column for A, X or B, and then I'll put a column for A, X or B, not. And this right here is going to be the X nor, if this is the X or for our inputs. Okay, and like I said before on a truth table, you don't have to have this intermediary column, but if it helps you, totally put it on there. Okay, so um, all of our possible combinations of inputs are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 for a two input XOR. If we XOR these, this is only going to be one if both of the bits are different, right? If they're the same, our output is zero. That's the definition of XOR. Now we take this XOR column and we just invert the bits. So this gives us one, zero, zero, one. And this is the output of the XNOR gate. So um, in the next video, I'll show you an example of a circuit, a digital logic circuit that has all of these new gates in it. And um, I'll give you some tips on how to make the truth table for the entire function.